Hello everyone, welcome to episode 0 of what will eventually become Nerds Hell the RimWorld story. This is a prelude to kind of show you guys just kind of what nonsense we're dealing with. So, first off, you may notice there are some different colors on this map. We've got green, we've got blue, we've got red, we got a weird tree, right? We've got... What is even happening here? This is new. Tiberium Glacier. That's new. I wonder if that's... That's it mixing with water, isn't it? Oh, my goodness. God, that, that is out of control, man. That is so thoroughly out of control. That poor bear. Oh, my goodness. The reason why I'm making this prelude is because there are 101 mods in this whole thing. There are 101 mods. They are running simultaneously. They are... They're not crashing the game. And actually, everything is working as intended. We have all the Cthulhu mods from last time. Every single one. But we also have, in addition to that, Command and Conquer mods. As you can see by the different Tiberium colors. We have, again, Cthulhu. But we also have Dune over here. We have Dune mods. We have Star Wars mods. We have almost everything. It would be a nerd's dream if it not were not for the fact that this place has burned to the ground twice. That's right. This, what you're really seeing right here, has burned to the ground <laughs> twice <laughs> in my initial playthrough of this game. And uh, as noticed by the uh, burned wood floor that I have yet to fix, all of the graves that are outside, which are primarily... What the frick is this? I have never... S okay, anyways. <laughs> all of these graves outside, which are primarily dead colonists. Both Gray and Messina are not the original members of the colony. Neither of them are. In fact, they both joined fairly recently. Yeah, I can understand cabin fever. You can't get outside the walls because as soon as you leave the walls, you die. I have to have the whole place walled in like this. Otherwise, something will come in here and will kill me. <laughs> it has happened time and time again. It's awful. I've lost, like, three people to that. Oh, look at that. He's finally, uh, mutated. Tiberium Fiend has mutated, like, fully, and is no longer being poisoned by Tiberium. What is this? Oh yeah, Rebel Alliance Helmet. Apparently someone died out there. Huh. <laughs> Anyways, this is an awful, awful place that is doomed to, to eternal suffering. This gray over here? He lost his hand in melee combat with a ward. And now he can't do anything except for research. Messina's good. Messina is perfectly happy, but has a Winchester 1887 to fight with. Used to have some much more powerful weapons. Uh, primarily Empire weapons, Empire blasters. Uh, but those burned. Those, those just burned in a horrible fire. So... Yeah, that's pretty much been everything, is all of this half the colony has burned before, burning through part of the refrigerator as well. This whole northern half of the colony is burned, but luckily the orange stone wall that I started next to and started to build my colony around, that didn't burn at all. You know what? Sure, you come this way. Who is that? Who is this person? When did they die? Where were they from? They just died. All right, well, yeah, you just run towards the colony, and we're just going to watch this place burn again, because that's just our life. The White Goose. Oh, my goodness. But you may very well witness the end to this colony. Like, I have to have more people. I'm, like, I don't have enough people, so I have to keep accepting them. But at the same time, I really can't. So, oh, yeah, no, you're just, you're gonna die if you go that way. What do you have? Run around this corner. 
Oh, here we go. Now, the big downside. Item stash opportunity out on the main map. That's pretty cool. But yeah, here we go. So we have some blasters versus some clubs. Come on, stole! Go, go, go! Go, go, go! Look at how clear cut this is. Oh, geez. Fire! Nice! Run! You are gonna make it. All right, go, go, go. All right, we gotta go around the Tiberium field. You don't wanna get Tiberium poisoning. Even being this close to Tiberium is dangerous. Go, go, go! But you can see how this could very quickly become very bad. Oh, oh, are they gonna go through the Tiberium? Oh, Mandrill's going through the Tiberium! Bonus damage! Run! Run! <laughs> Run! Messina, I need you to stop fooling around! Oh my goodness, how are you? How hurt are you? Left shoulder is bruised. You're fine. Oh, your left ring finger was cut off. This is bad. Make a break for it! You're gonna start bleeding, and I don't think you can actually, like, fight here at all. Like, it's just not gonna happen. But we gotta keep doing Ring Around the rosy. Now, Mandrill is the one that walked through the Tiberium. He's already got Tiberium Exposure, which does hurt his efficiency quite a bit. You are going to die if you don't do something. So I guess, last stand, Stole. Nice shot. You're like, really ruining him. All right, so yeah, that's bad. Stole is down. Messina is a jerk and won't get out of this thing, so now they're gonna try and break through. Gray has gone berserk. So both of our other colonists are now in a horrible state. Yeah. But this has basically been my life. Hey, good job, Messina. You beat the guy who really can't fight. Well done. Oh my goodness, they broke through the wall. They're gonna try and take all of us. Ha! <laughs> uh, admittedly, it was a very stupid reason to, you know, go take, um, to accept that person. Like, that that was not really the point. But this has basically been the entire life. Like, now we're just, we're burning again, and it's, it's just bad. Messina is in a daze and can't do anything. Gray is knocked out. Messina's gonna get killed. Like, that's pretty much been everything. So this is the prelude to what will become Nerd's Hell, will be the new colony. So let's go ahead and go back to the main menu. I will show you guys all the mods we're using. We're gonna make a brand new world, and it's gonna be a good time. So again, we've got Star Wars. We have Alien vs. Predator. We have uh, USCM. We have all of Cthulhu. I just see Arachnophobia, Rim of Madness, part of the Cthulhu set. We have, again, Command and Conquer. A lot of that is involved in this. Like, it's... It's pretty messed up. Like, feel free to pause, go through, see what I'm subscribed to. There are 101 mods. We even have some Fallout stuff in here. T-45B Power Armor, right there. It's it's just crazy, man. It's it's absolutely crazy. I love it. It's really really difficult on easy settings. It is insanely difficult because we just keep getting destroyed, demolished by everything. We're we're just getting wrecked. So we will be uh we'll we'll have a hard time when we set up this new colony. We'll put it that way. But everything's in here, you can look at everything. It loads perfectly without causing any errors in loading. I have the like the perfect order so that it won't cause any errors when it loads. It just so happens that the base game is only a quarter of the size of all of the mods combined. So it's pretty bad like seriously the, the mods are uh, oh, 300 megabytes and the game is 100 megabytes to those of you that that means something too but basically that just means that the, the mods are 75% of the of the game at this point so there's a lot of things we could choose on or choose <laughs> choose with choose from in here 
but I think we might want to go with wait, I want to say something that's just really like basic and just like a, a standard experience that then spirals out of control but a lot of these are a lot of fun they're really cool um, we've got a couple for Command and Conquer which are really cool as well with the way this is set up, you are it is actually possible to have a multiracial colony, uh, which is part part of things that I really love is I can have a multiracial colony if I so choose. So, I think we'll actually start with this because I haven't I haven't tried this. I don't know what it's gonna be like. Map starts with a Tiberium refinery. That'll be interesting. Tiberium protection a little bit. If we find a place that's a little bit away from Tiberium, that'd probably be good. <laughs> but we'll go ahead and try this. Of course, HP Lovecraft will start on rough. Uh, that's what I was playing on before that was leading us to such a horrible, horrible place. It was really very, very bad. We do 100% dinosaur. No, no, no. Nerdtel. Is the seed. I want rainfall to be high temperature. I want it to be a little bit warmer. I want it to be basically as easy as possible to survive. Like, I want the easiest starting conditions imaginable because this game is going to be horribly difficult. And I know because I, I've been doing that test game for like four days. I've been running that test game. I have like 10, 15 hours into that colony, and that was the state it was in. Two people, a lot of rooms, but only two people, only one of which could actually do anything at all. Like, it was just a very sad life. So, that that's what we're looking forward to. Hopefully it won't be quite as painful the second time around. We'll have one extra colonist to start with than I'm used to. Uh, but they'll start with Tiberium on the ground. Now, the Tiberium that was in the previous game, uh, that was Tiberium that fell from the sky. All of the Tiberium, all of that, originally fell from the sky and then just spread out like a cancer over the land from there. It ruined vegetation. It ruined wildlife. It was just really messed up. Here's our world. Alright. Look at this. We got tiny little ice caps, but you can see there's a lot of different factions. A lot of these factions are already at war with one another. So, be prepared for that. We have sheep people. Right? We have Twi'leks. We have a lot of various different types of humans. So, what I'm going to look for predominantly. What I am looking for is a place that is temperate with a road and a river. Perhaps also a mountain. Small hills, ancient asphalt road and dirt road. Okay, I like the highway. What is this? That's a that's a place. That's a faction. Oh, they're a tribe. Oh. Interesting. It's so, like, this would be a really good place to choose from, right here. But, the flip side is, it is far away from, like, all the factions. And I want to be fairly close to them, because that'll help create extra drama, extra tension. Let's see. We have a highway, I believe, is that what that is? Or is that just stone road? That's an ancient asphalt road. Where's an ancient asphalt highway? Those are always really fun. It, it, it'll exist somewhere. There's an ancient asphalt highway that does exist somewhere in the game. What is that? It's just a dirt road. Wow, well, I haven't seen that before. Usually they're just tiny dirt roads. These itty bitty things, little... They come off of them. But yeah, we're just seeing regular ancient asphalt roads. What is this terrain? Arid Shrubland. I mean, I, there wouldn't be as many fire problems. There's the highway. 
Ancient Asphalt Highway. If we went right here, actually, it would be insanely hot and we would suffer from uh, heat stroke constantly. So that'd be a fun challenge. <laughs> constantly have heat stroke. There's nothing around other than just a river. I'm not a huge fan of this world seat. There's not a not a lot to work with for what I want anyways. But you know what? That's fine. We'll make do. We'll pick a good spot. The whole point of this entire episode is to just set up a uh, an initial starting point. This is episode zero after all. Nothing important is going to happen this episode. Oh. Nope. Maybe. Maybe. I want more hills. I want more mountains in my life. Uh, but I, I, I'm okay with this. You know what? I'm okay with this spot. Right here, we have a huge river, ancient asphalt road, sandstone gravel path. What are the factions here? Uh, only... So, f five hostile factions. We have... Four that don't like us. And eight that do like us. Pretty much everybody hates everybody, which is awesome. <laughs> everybody hates everybody. This is going to be a place of conflict. It's kind of a center location, I suppose, in front of everyone else. Does This, this does have... Let's see, where is it? Brotherhood of Nod... USCM is here, okay. Galactic Empire. What about the Rebel Alliance? Where's the Rebel Alliance? Oh, the Rebel Alliance isn't part of that. So we may be able to avoid the Galactic Empire Rebel Alliance war if we start here, which I want to be a part of that. They will show up and they will fight on your territory. I'm not even kidding. That's what they will do. They will show up and they will fight on your territory. We start over here. We have Galactic Empire. Oh, Rebel Alliance is right here. We actually we probably had the Rebel Alliance in the last one. Summer temperature is insanely hot. Jeez. What if we go back to that last spot? Was was the Rebel Alliance here? Yeah, they were here. I was just completely blind to it. That's fine. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna have a lot of conflict. Pretty much anywhere we go, which is fine. We'll have a 275 by 275, because I like that. And I think I'll just go ahead and jump right in. So we have four people. We can prepare carefully if we wish to. I'm not a huge fan of this, honestly. The prepare carefully screen, it basically lets you do whatever you want with whatever you want. Yeah, I don't want to prepare carefully. So I'm, most, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, randomize for a little bit. Because we need something that's decent. Childhood medical assistant. Oh, you like just now became an adult. Interesting. You're not very skillful. And you can't firefight. But psychically dull is really awesome. I don't like the chemical fascination. Creepy breathing is kind of unfortunate. Uh, neurotic is okay. We'll go ahead and keep you. Diver, the mercenary. A mercenary leader. You can't do medicine, cooking, or artistic. Oh, but your sister is Wanda. Look at that. You have a bloodlust. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, that could be fun. Trained in the Officio Assassinorium surgical tool to serve the Emperor against chaos. Blessed for combat excellence at range. I like that. Yeah, we'll keep you. A shock troop. You can't do artistic. Ah, I don't like brawlers. Trigger happy pyromaniac? Eh, no. Cross the file... Fluviophile? Likes the rain. Cool. All you would do is combat and wardening. We'll pass. 
Annoying voice, greedy. Hmm. Not a fan of that. Psychopath. Okay. You know what? That's a really, you know, yeah. You're awesome. Absolutely. And then you are not bad. You're old, which could be a problem. Dislikes and distrusts women, but you are a, wim a woman. Woman, woman, woman. Feel like that might cause some drama. You don't like women, and yet, everyone would be a woman. That being said, I am all for these stats. I am all for that. You you don't? Okay, so your sister is Lucas, actually. Interesting. Alright, so, Wanda Riggs. Amphidizif. We have Sam I Am. Can I? Oh, wait, you don't have a... You don't have a nickname. We're gonna make you Wasabio and Bakura. There we go. So that is our initial team. We'll be starting with four of the most active people in the channel. Four of the most helpful people in the channel. I appreciate you guys. You're probably gonna die first, but I'm gonna try to keep you alive. And that is for another time. We'll go ahead and look at our starting area, and that will be it. So, thank you guys for watching on episode zero. If you liked the video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and share it with your friends. The best thing you can do for the channel is share the video on Facebook, Twitter, and Reddit. Thank you to Amphid and Samayam for being Patreon supporters. And I will see you guys. Oh, yeah. If we, we can be a democracy or a dictatorship. Uh, I'm going with democracy, personally. And there is the war. The Rebel Alliance Galactic Empire are fighting one another. So just be aware that is going to be part of our life. We have Tiberium starting right away. What is this? A blossom tree? It grows tight ty green Tiberium. Blue Tiberium field, green Tiberium field. Wonder what will happen when those touch. Another Tiberium tree. Tiberium Refinery is way over there. Get resources from green, blue, red, or Tiberium Veins. Interesting. We might deconstruct that. My goodness. Where do we... I don't even know where we're going to set up, but that's something I can figure out in between episodes. We have another blue and a green. Lots of green. Which begs the question, where's the red? It'll show up somewhere, I'm sure. But again, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time with some RimWorld. Look at all this. Look at all this. It's fantastic. Thanks for watching. I'll see you then in DFTBA.